Today I want to talk to you guys about a little tool that I believe that every Linux gamer should be using. Whether you're gaming on a Linux desktop based PC or Valve's very own Steam Deck handheld, you should be using this tool to get the very best version of Proton that's available today. And that tool is called Proton UpQt. Now if you're not familiar with Proton or Proton GE, allow me to explain and I'll just give you the short version. Proton was developed by Codeweavers and Valve in order to bring Windows gaming over to the Linux-based desktop PC. And this little compatibility layer has a very low overhead and it works very well and allows you to play a lot of Windows games. I mean, a ton of Windows games on a Linux-based PC. Now, Proton is an amazing compatibility tool and has worked wonders for Linux-based PC gaming, but it still has its flaws and its shortcomings. This is where Proton GE comes in. Proton GE was made possible by a developer who goes by the name of Glorious Eggroll, hence the GE moniker at the end of the Proton name, where it has taken the base level compatibility tool of Proton that Codeweavers and Valve had developed and had modified and tweaked it in a way so that way more games are compatible with Linux out of the box. He also made a tool called Proton UpQt, which is what we're talking about here today, which allows you to install these Proton GE versions with just one click of a button. Let me show you. Here is the Proton UpQt GUI interface, and as you can see, there's not a lot going on here. It's pretty bare bones, but it's still a very powerful tool that allows you to install the custom Proton GE versions and other compatibility tools very easily. It's very easy to use, it's very intuitive. So if you go to the top here, you can actually see a drop down menu which shows you the programs which you can install these Proton GE versions onto. So Steam, Lutris, Heroic Wine Flatpak, Heroic, Pro Heroic Proton Flatpak, and you can pick from which of these programs you want to install to. I'm going to show you how to do it on Steam, and it's very, very easy. So if you come to the bottom here, you'll have a install compatibility tools list. As you can see, we don't have any tools that are uh, installed as, at the moment. So what you want to do is you want to go to add version down the bottom here. So here is the part where you can pick which compatibility tool that you want to install. So I have GE Proton highlighted right here, but you can install Boxtron, Luxterpedia, Proton TKG, Roberta, Steam Tinker Launch, any of these compatibility tools. So for whatever reason, if you wanted to mess around with any of these other compatibility tools, you can do so inside of, of Proton UpQt. So we're gonna stick with GE Proton for now. We're going to select GE Proton 7-38, which is the newest version of Proton GE that has been released. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. And if you're not sure which version of Proton GE to install, install the newest one that'll be your best and safe bet and before we go any further before we click install i want to make sure that steam or lutris or any heroic game launchers are actually shut off before or closed down before you actually install this so that way this proton ge compatibility tool can actually install properly with that being said let's click install after you go ahead and click install it's going to download the Proton GE version that you selected, which takes about a minute or so. And now that it's done downloading, you can see that we have GE Proton 7-38 installed under the install compatibility tools list. Now what Proton UpQt is going to do is going to find the Steam Home Directory folder and put it in the correct folder for you so that way you don't have to manually do anything. And now Proton 7-38 is ready to use in Steam. And if you wanted to force this compatibility tool inside Steam, all you got to do is open up Steam, go to Steam, go to Settings, and then under Steam Play, you want to enable Steam Play for all supported titles, and then enable Steam Play for all other titles. Under the drop down menu here, you want to go ahead and select the newest version of 7 38. All you got to do is click this, and then hit OK. Steam will restart, and then after it's done restarting, you will be able to use Proton GE 7-38. Well, right about now, you're probably typing down in the comments that I don't use Steam. I use Lutris or I use Heroic Games Launcher. Well, I'm going to tell you that to install Proton GE versions onto either one of those platforms is just as easy. Allow me to show you. If I come to the drop down menu here in the Proton UpQt, I select the drop down menu and go to Lutris. You're going to notice that there may be a couple of compatibility tools already there. This is what Lutris ships with automatically now if you want to add a proton ge version to it all you got to do is go to add version again select wine ge or proton ge and then go to ge proton 7-32 which is the newest one for the lutris launcher now all you got to do is just click install after it's done downloading you're going to see it into your install compatibility tools list and then you can go ahead and open up lutris and just 
use it. Now, the cool thing about Lutris is, is that I don't have to have the same Proton version running on all the games at any given time. I can actually choose which Proton version or which Proton GE version I want to run on each specific game. So if I were to go ahead and select World of Warcraft and right click on it and I go to configure and then I go to runner options, I can go to the wine version here and I can select the Lutris GE Proton version that I just downloaded, select that, hit save. And then now I'm using the Proton 7-32 version of Proton GE with that World of Warcraft classic install on Lutris. And if I go to Escape from Tarkov and go to configure and then go to runner options, you can see that Lutris 7.2-2 is running on this game. So you can have different Proton versions running on different games depending on which works better for you. So mess around with it and have a little fun with it. Now that you've seen Proton UpQT in action, how intuitive and easy it is to actually use, I implore you to go ahead and check it out and mess around with different GE versions of Proton that there are out there. This is definitely the best version of Proton over the base version of Proton that Valve ships with Steam, and you may find out that you're going to get better performance, better frame rates, and better stability out of your Windows games that you're playing on Linux using Proton GE. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, I'm Joshua for the Love of Games, signing out. Have a great day.